find integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx. So, here we are going to evaluate the given definite integral that is integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx. Since the integral have its limits of integration that is the upper limit pi and the lower limit 0, we will call it as the definite integral. Okay. So, in order to evaluate this integral, we are going to use the properties of definite integral. So, at first, take this integral as i. That is, we are going to name this integral as i. i equal to integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx. Then, what about next? Now we are going to use the properties of the definite integral that is the integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Okay, this is the property usually we use if we have a trigonometric function with a, the variable x. Okay. If you use this property, then you can easily simplify this integral into a integrable form. That is easily integrable form. So, let us use this property. Then what we will get? That is instead of a, we have to put, sorry, instead of x, we have to put a minus x. That is instead of x here, we have to put pi minus x as the variable in order to apply this property. Okay, on applying this property, we will get i equal to integral 0 to pi. Then, instead of x, we will provide pi minus x. That is pi minus x into sine pi minus x into cos square pi minus x dx. Okay. Now, Next, we are going to evaluate what is the value of this pi minus x, that is sine pi minus x and cos square pi minus x. In order to use that, we have to apply the properties of trigonometric function. That is, we know that sine pi minus x equal to sine x through the properties of trigonometric function in the four different quadrants. Okay, here the sine pi minus x is in the second quadrant, so we will get the all sine positive property, then we will get sine pi minus x equal to sine x. Okay, then what about cos square pi minus x? It is in the fourth quadrant. Here, sorry, it is in the second quadrant itself. Only the sine x and cosec x is positive in that quadrant. Then we will get cos pi minus x as minus cos x and what about minus cos x square that is cos square x we have to at, we have to know the properties using the quadrants in order to find the value of sin pi minus x and cos pi minus x then now by applying that property here we will get sin pi minus x as sin x and cos square pi minus x as cos square x dx. So, we are naming that equation as 2. Now, in the next step, we are adding this equation 1 and 2. In order to get a simplified form, on adding this equation 1 and 2, we will get integral 2i, i plus i is 2i equal to integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx plus integral 0 to pi pi minus x sin x cos square x dx. Okay, now here on taking 0 to pi to the inside and multiplying sorry and expanding the terms we will get integral 0 to pi pi sin x cos square x dx minus integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx that is minus 
we will get a negative of this term here on taking pi to the inside and multiplying sin x cos square x to the x. So we will cancel that two terms and what will remain i equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to pi pi sin x cos square x dx. Okay. On expanding we can cancel this term and integral 0 to pi minus of sorry minus of integral 0 to pi x sin x cos square x dx. So this will remain here. In order to find the value of this integral, we are going to use the substitution method. So, what we get from this integral, we have found a more simplified form which is easily integrable form by doing these steps. That is by using the properties of definite integral, we, we arrive at i equal to 1 by 2 into integral 0 to pi pi sin x cos square x dx and this 2 i are equal that is this step is equivalent to this step so instead of finding the value of this i we have to find the value of this okay on substitution of cos x equal to t we will get minus sin x dx equal to dt by dx. On differentiating, we will get dt by dx equal to minus sin x. Then, minus sin x dx equal to dt. Okay. Now, substituting this, we will get cos x equal to t. Then, cos square x is t square. Then, minus sin x dx, that is, sin x dx equal to minus of dt that is minus dt then next we have to check what is the value of x sorry t here that is if we change our variable from x to t the limits of integration will also have a change so we have to find what is the value of t here in order to find t, at first put x equal to 0. If x equal to 0, what is t? t equal to 1. That is cos 0 equal to 1. Then if x equal to pi, then what is t? Cos pi which is equal to minus 1. So our limits of integration becomes integral 1 to minus 1. By Now by using the, this property that is integral a to b f of x dx equal to sorry integral b to a f of x dx equal to minus of integral a to b f of x dx we can rewrite 1 to minus 1 as minus 1 to 1 okay now and here we have one minus and here another minus these two will cancel and what will remain 1 by 2 into pi minus 1 to 1 t square t t now on evaluating pi by 2 into t cube by 3 the limits of integration minus 1 to 1. Now putting the limit of integration let pi by 2 into 1 by 3 minus of now putting the lower limit minus 1 by 3 will cube will become minus 1 by 3. That is minus 1 cube will came minus 1. Okay. Now by adding this 2 we will get pi by 2 into 2 by 3. That is on cancelling 2's we will get the answer as pi by 3. So our required answer is pi by 3. That is the value of this integral.